Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to talk about how you can configure the Visual Studio Code 2019 and 2022 to run the Matplotlib library inside your C++ program and I have already talked about in my previous videos like how you can install the Matplotlib library for the C++ in Linux and Windows environment and I have already talked about all the methods how you can link those libraries with your main C++ program by using G++ or by using CMake method. But today we are just going to see how we can configure the Visual Studio Code 2019 to run the matplotlib library directly from the Visual Studio. First of all you need to open the Visual Studio. So press the window key and type Visual Studio. So I have Visual Studio 2019. And I have also made the tutorials for the matplotlib library for the Visual Studio code. So if you want to learn that, I will put the link for those videos in the description. So you can simply go through there. So uh, make sure you can run the Visual Studio 2019 as an administrator and yes. And uh, we will create a new project and uh, I will uh, we will create an empty project next and uh, we can name this project uh, for example matplotlib cpp and uh, create so a project is created for us here and uh, make sure you have done the following settings correctly for the visual studio 2010 to run the matplotlib library First of all, always change it into release mode and our system architecture is not of x86, it's of x64. So please select x64 and uh, this is it. And next we will add a uh, main file here, cpp file. You can name it as uh, main.cpp add. So uh, a file is created and we need to add the header file and we can name it as um, matplotlibcpp.h Next thing we need to fill these two files and uh, in order to fill this file matplotlibcpp.h you can go type here um, matplotlib cpp.h and go into this github page and uh, this is it you can go into raw and copy everything from this file and go back here and paste it here and save it as it is and uh, the next thing we need to fill our main file so i can go on my article here and uh, I am going to fill the main file with this and paste it here. By the way, I will put the link for the uh, matplotlibcpp.h and for the main file in the description, you will get the code easily. So uh, for example, here are a lot of errors, red lines. So first of all, we will go here and first we will run this uh, file as it is and we will see what error it generate so it said uh, there's a lot of errors he said he cannot open source file matplotlib cpp.h so make sure the names are correct so in header files it's uh, it's a spelling mistake it should be matplotlib cpp.h and uh, no if no the next error is he is saying that cannot open source file python.h which is uh, if we go in this file and go up as you can see there are two red marks it does not find the python and it does not find the numpy and for this you have to go to your projects and properties and you need to go to vc++ directories and we need to include the directories for the python and for the numpy so go into the include directories and click this button edit and add folder here 
and go to the folder where you have installed your python for example my python is here python 3.8 and you need to give the path of the include folder double click on it and click on select folder so it is included here and the next path is missing which is the numpy so for this you can add one more path and go here and go into f and here again where you have installed your python and go into lib and numpy should usually be inside packages if uh, there if there is no uh, if the second you need to add the numpy and click on this and uh, go there and uh, again go back where you have installed your python and go into lib and into side packages and into numpy and uh, into core and uh, into lib uh, and into include and select this folder and you have uh, to include two include folders one is python and one is numpy and click ok and click apply and ok and as you can see uh, all the errors are removed right now if you run it again uh, we will get an error which is saying that uh, expected comma and it should be error in this file in which line in 353 so we can go here in line 353 mm, which is here and you can simply comment out this part here and you can save this file again and if you run it again uh, you can see another error and it will say it cannot find the python library so the next thing you need to add the python libraries for it uh, instead uh, so for this you need to go again into the vc++ directories and library directory and click here and edit and you need to give the a path of the directory for the python libs folder and again go back where you have installed your python and in my case it is here and you need to give the path of this libs folder and you can select folder as it is added successfully click ok and click apply click ok and uh, now if you run it again and uh, there is no error and your program is running successfully here how you this is how you can configure the visual studio to run the matplotlib uh, for c++ uh, this is it for today and uh, if you have problem with other libraries in the configuration process and in the linking process inside the visual studio you can write down in the comments and uh, hopefully i will make the tutorial for those libraries next time see you bye bye